If you've been playing with CSS Grid, you might have noticed a grid parent only affects its direct children, the elements directly inside of it. Uh, and that can cause some problems if you need the grandchildren, the elements inside those elements. If you need those to align, uh, sometimes it's hard to align them across different grids, and there's ways around that. Um, but then we've also got subgrid coming soon, and I'm going to show you a few of the options, both the workarounds and then also how to use subgrid. Uh, and you can check whether subgrid is supported, but it's fairly simple to support both with and without subgrid, uh, depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to start with this form, and I have these labels. Uh, each label is wrapping a form field uh, and the label text. Um, and so I have a grid on the form, but it's not aligning the elements inside of the labels. So we're going to solve that problem. I have grid template columns of max content and one fraction. And that means that these label text blocks are going to take up uh, as much space as they need. And then the inputs themselves will take up any remaining space. Uh, I've added a column gap of 1M, uh, and that just gives us space between the label text and the input, and then a margin bottom of 1M, and that's giving us space between the fields. The first thing that I can do to try to get these working, uh, aligning across the different grids, is I'm going to apply this grid. Instead of applying it to the field, I'm going to apply it to the form. At first, that breaks things, um, but we'll get that fixed. And we'll do that by adding field here. Uh, each field is going to span two columns. So grid column span two. So my form fields are now spanning the whole way across the form again. That's great. But now I'm going to say display grid on each of those fields. Um, and that's looking pretty good. Uh, but I'm going to inherit the grid definition and also the grid gap. At this point, the design is right back where we started. We haven't really made any progress. But what we have done is moved our grid definition into one place. Uh, and then allow the children to inherit that grid and pass it on to their children. So they're still not aligned here, um, but this allows us to start also playing with the subgrid as an improvement on what we have. So on each field, I'm also going to add grid template columns subgrid. And you can see suddenly all of our elements fell into place right together there. Uh, and even if we change the length of one of these full, very long name, uh, everything should update together uh, and they will all keep taking up the same amount of space. If a browser doesn't support subgrid, and we can test that, we don't need to find a browser that doesn't support subgrid. We can just test uh, that case by commenting out subgrid there. And then what I'm going to do is copy this. And rather than using max content for the fallback, I'm going to pick a value. Um, and I'm going to try eight M's. And we can say, like, maybe six is going to work. And you can see we're making a choice here. Uh, we can either allow this to inherit directly, and then we get the misaligned, but at least each one works the way it should. Or we can replace max content with something consistent that will be consistent across all of them um, and make them align. Uh, but we have this wrapping issue uh, if a label is long. So you can decide which of those fallbacks works better for you. Um, but in either case, subgrid can just be put right after that, and it will override it and give us the combined grid of all of them working together. And then when it's not supported, we'll fall back 
to the simpler value, uh, whichever one we decide is uh, better for our particular design. Subgrid, even if you want to use it before there's a lot of browser support, you can use it right away. Just make sure that when you comment out subgrid, you have a good fallback for it. It's not redoing the entire layout. You don't have to do two separate layouts to make this work. So start using subgrid right away. I hope you have fun with it. I really like what it allows me to do.